Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we have an awesome special guest, the very funny, very talented Mark from Epic Confections. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing a put it in pink cake. So it's a collaboration video. He'll be doing one, I'll be doing one. And at the end, we will share our results. Ready, Mark? Let's do it. So Rosie is Skyping live from Australia right now. Right Rosie, now. can you hear me? Am I coming in loud and queer? <laughs> <laughs> so I just baked off four seven inch round white cakes. I'm just gonna level them out, fill them with an awesome pink buttercream and stack them up. Let's do it. I have to ask you some questions about Australia. Yes. <laughs> so I am absolutely terrified of spiders. What is the biggest spider you've ever seen? Biggest spider would have to be that I've seen anyway is a huntsman. Oh god. And they're like your clothes, they hang out the washing. I remember one summer I had a big white towel and I'm just casually and innocently folding it inside. I opened it up and what do I see in front of me? A giant spot like legit. No. Legit this big. No way. I, I can't. I would have a heart attack. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple friends, Shane and Luke, who live in Australia and we talk all the time. Shout out to Shane and Luke, and they always try to creep me out with the, you know, the animals from Australia. that our cake's been cut, I'm just gonna stick it onto my cake board some buttercream. And this is a very dense cake. And then fill in with some more buttercream. And then fill in with your buttercream. Bring it right up to the edge. And place on your next layer of cake when you're ready. Just like so. And keep building your cake until it's done. Are there any dangerous animals there, Mark? Anything? I mean, we have, we have little tiny spider, like a black widow type spider. But we are in Canada, so it is there's some rural parts of Canada, so you're talking grizzly bears and like leopards and stuff like that. That's crazy, leopards, wild leopards. So if you were to go camping, you'd have like leopard repellent or something? <laughs> I would have lots of beer and definitely my leopard repellent, for sure, absolutely. I'm gonna give this a bit of a uh, clean up with my extra tall scraper. These guys are available on my website, rosiesdessertspot.com if you guys would like one. Clean up the top edge as well. Now we're just gonna pop this into the freezer to set for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and decorate it. So I just filled my piping bag with a pink icing. I'm just going to ice the whole cake and then I'm going to be doing a pink and white watercolor effect. And what do I always say kids? Water is a cake decorator's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> So I just filled up another piping bag with white buttercream 
And I'm just gonna randomly place some dots all over the cake. And I'm gonna take my really hot water and spatula and blend it all together to give you a really cute watercolor effect. So once you're happy with your watercolor effect, pop it into the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. We'll take it back out and we'll start decorating. Let's do it. Now that our cake is nice and chilled, it's been about 20 minutes or so in the fridge or 10 minutes in the freezer. I'm gonna go ahead and put my final layer of frosting, which is a soft pink color. So for this one, I used the um, Neon Bright Pink by Chef Master. I like to start at the very top and bring the frosting out to the side. Give it a bit of a twirl up top so you get a nice flat base. And then work on the sides of your cake. Because I am using a frosting comb, I'm gonna leave this to be just a little bit thicker than usual. This size of my cake and then we'll go in with the frosting cone. So that's all I need there. I've got my scallop frosting cone. This is the extra large range which is now available on my website, rosiesdessertspot.com. I'll have a link in the description box and also in the little eye icon that comes up. And so you just put a little bit of pressure as you turn your turntable and it'll indent that beautiful design in the side of your cake. Clear off each time you uh, remove the comb from your cake. Just like that. So once you've pulled your cake out of the fridge, I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating it. I do have a few pink flowers here and I have a pink ribbon. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ribbon on the bottom of the cake. So I decided to go with the theme, Pretty in Pink. When I think of pink, I think of pretty ballerinas. Much like myself when I was seven years old. So, I went to the dollar store and I picked up a whole bunch of fake flowers. Normally I would use real edible flowers, but just for the cake tutorial, they're pretty. I also printed out three silhouettes of ballerinas, and I cut them in half. I'm going to be using the flowers as their tutus. So you just want to stick the silhouette on the very edge of the cake. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick on their legs. Now that our cake has been set from the freezer, I am gonna add a little bit of gold edible pearls to the very bottom. In this very tall bowl, I have my mini little pearls. I'm gonna bring the cake over, grab a handful, and just press it into the sides and make sure that the rest fall back into our bowl. Now the next step is to create your fake flowers. I have a 104 tip. Oh, what tip is this? I have a Wilton 80 tip that I'll be using to make some chrysanthemums. And I'm just going to put a little bit of buttercream on my floral nail and stick on some baking paper. To create the chrysanthemum, lay a bit of a base in the very center and then work off that base, bringing it out and up. going until you feel good. 
whole thing. Just like that. Here I'm using a number number 101 tip and we're making like a ruffled rose. So I'm starting right in the center and I'm making like a butt. And then I'm gonna start arching to make longer petals. Always working halfway behind the last petal that I pipe. And then you can angle it outwards so that the petal becomes more open. If you can find the front of your cake, just start placing them on with a little bit of buttercream to stick them on. To make it look a little more, uh, like have a bit more depth, you can put them on in an, on an angle. I prepared earlier as well. So I'm just going to add those to the mix. You'll want to make sure to work quickly because at room temperature the buttercream flowers do tend to soften out. The whole idea of this cake is to have three different silhouettes. Um, in three different positions, so that when you spin the cake, it looks like they're dancing. Aww. Aww. They're dancing for Rosie. with your floral arrangement, um, I went ahead and I got these three LED lights and I'm just going to place them at the very bottom of the ballerina so it's kind of like her spotlight while she's dancing. thanks to a good friend, and I've never tried this stuff, Rosie, so I'm gonna have a quick spoonful of it. <laughs> Should I just take a little bit? Yeah, like you just wanna lick it. Like that stuff is potent stuff. Like that? Doesn't like is that good? I don't think it's But yeah, like that, don't do more than that or you'll, you'll really destroy your first experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So I did that for you, Rosie. I did it for Australia. And that is how you make a pretty in pink cake decorated with some fake flowers, real flowers, meringues, and some bits and bobs over there. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, the Pretty in Pink Cake collaboration with the amazing and talented Mark from uh, Epic Confections. Thank you so much for having me, Rosie. It's been such a pleasure. No Your cake is absolutely beautiful. Thank you, so is yours. Don't forget to go check out his video as well. It is epic, epic. So, epic confections, very epic cake. Don't forget to also subscribe to his channel. He makes some amazing cake designs and he is incredibly funny to watch, my I add. So, thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you guys next time. So if you were to go camping, you'd have like leopard repellent or something? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys! Oh, I'm going to Sorry, I'm going to It's from in Canada. So I'm from Toronto. So did you go for the nice little Um, well, I'm gay, so I don't watch any sports. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? I'm going to stop. I thought you finished. That's okay. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha